Hi students, welcome back. In the previous video, I explained about the analog to digital conversion. Uh, now let us see the digital to analog conversion. So this is an you know, 16 bit, 16 pin configuration. Uh, actually the digital to analog conversion converts the, it is used to convert, it converts binary numbers. Digital, num, digital bit uh, is nothing, digital information is nothing but the binary numbers. It converts the binary numbers into uh, their analog equivalent voltage. Their analog equivalent voltage. So, uh, let us see the find the applications where we will use this digital to uh, analog conversion. So, in which areas we can use this digital to analog conversion? So the first application is we will go, we will use this in digitally controlled gains, digitally controlled gains and uh, we are using motor speed controls, we will use digital to analog conversion in motor speed controls and we will use in program gain amplifi amplifiers, programmable programmable gain amplifiers etc so this is the sum of the applications where the digital to analog conversion will be needed so this is an ad7523 which is an 8 bit multiplying dac 8 bit multiplying dac so total here it is having 8 bit b1 to b8 b1 is indicates the most significant bit lsb indicates least significant bit so it consisting of 8 bit uh, sorry 8 bit multiplying dac which is this ad752 is a 16 pin dip it is a 16 one side 8 pin and another side 8 pin so total it is a 16 pin dip multiplying digital to analog converters which is containing r to r ladder so means this is r to r ladder here we are giving rfb it is a 10 kilowatt uh, 10k we are giving for digital to analog conversion and the power supply here it is needed is the plus 5 volts to V plus will be given to plus 5 volts to plus 15 volts. So the power supply we are giving to digital to analog conversion is plus 5 to plus 15 and the V reference in we are giving minus 10 volts to plus 10 volts. The reference voltage we are that will be given to digital to analog conversion is minus 10 volts to plus 10 volts the maximum analog output voltage will be plus 10 volts so up to maximum it can give the analog output voltage will be plus 10 volts and a zener is connected to between out 1 and out here the out 1 and out 2 will be there these will be connected to zener it's a zener diode a zener is connected between out 1 and out 2 to save digital to analog from negative transistor transition. So to overcome the negative transistor, a zener will be connected. Zener will be connected in between out 1 and out 2. Okay, to save the digital uh, analog conversion from negative transients. An uh, operational amplifier used as a current to voltage converter at the output of AD7523. An external feedback resistance acts to control the gain. So these are all the points that you have to remember for whenever you are going for digital to analog conversion. So the uh, voltage that is given and the voltage reference that will be given and the maximum analog output voltage will be up to plus 10 volts and a zener will be connected in between out 1 and out 2. Why we are connecting a zener between out 1 and out 2? Uh, to overcome, to save the digital to analog conversion from negative transients, we are connecting the Zena diode. And this is a pin configuration. Now let us see. Uh, so this is an interface. Uh, let's take see the example for uh, the interfacing of DAC AD7523 with 8086 running at 8 megahertz. So here we are giving 8 megahertz. Now we have to write an ALP, arithmetic logic program, to generate a sawtooth waveform. Means this is an analog form. We have to 
take a digital data and you have to generate a sawtooth waveform of period and the delay they are giving is 1 milliseconds with the maximum voltage is 5 volts actually i said the maximum voltage it will be generate plus 10 volts now we are giving only 5 volts so for that we have to write the program that is a lp program first assume code segment now start move al comma ath so first you are initializing this uh, a255 okay you are just initializing that at uh, out that whatever the data that will be there that will be placed in the control world register so now move al comma 00h and put uh, that al in port a increment al and compare al with 0f2h so if there is uh, jump back if there is a borrow you have to jump back when you are comparing if a negative result negative transient will come you have to jump back and then if it is not there jump again you go to this point jump again code ends and end starts so this is an interfacing of adc and let's see this so this is a diagram of interfacing of ad752328086 through 8255 so in the previous we are using digital analog to digital conversion so that is a 080 and or 0809 will be connected to 8255 so now the 8255 will be connected to ad752 which is used to convert the digital data to analog so here port a0 the lsb and msb will be connected to ad752 pin 4 to 11 and the ground pin and the v reference will be connected to 15th pin and plus 10 volts will be given to 4th pin and rf16 will be connected to 16th pin now see here out 1 and out 2 so which are connected with a zener diode so this is a zener diode so a zener diode is connected between out 1 and out 2 which is used to save the digital to analog conversion from negative transients okay and this is a which generates the waveform as an output so minus plus connected so this is an interfacing circuit of AD7523 which is nothing but digital to analog conversion. Digital to analog conversion. Thank you.